Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, we will embark together on an exhilarating journey to uncover the mysteries of the Bible, where each question is a true or false secret waiting to be decoded. Get ready for 25 fun puzzles based on classic stories from the Bible. Are you ready to discover the hidden truths in these stories? Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. By doing so, you won't miss out on any upcoming challenges and will become part of a community that loves discovering the wonders of God's Word. Once you've solved the mysteries, share your thoughts in the comments section below. Let's explore the wonders of the Bible together. Let's get started. Question 1. David played on the lyre. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. David, who later became the second king of Israel, was known for his skill with the lyre, a type of harp. He was brought to King Saul's court to play music on the lyre to soothe Saul's troubled spirit, as recorded in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 23. This talent also played a significant role in David's life and relationship with Saul. Question 2. Israelites made a golden calf as an idol in the wilderness. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. While Moses was on Mount Sinai receiving the Ten Commandments, the Israelites grew impatient and asked Aaron to create a god for them to worship. Aaron complied by fashioning a golden calf from their gold jewelry. This act of idolatry is detailed in Exodus chapter 32, verses 1 to 6, and resulted in God's anger and Moses breaking the stone tablets with the commandments. Question 3. Peter and John healed the blind man at the temple gate. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Peter and John are known for performing a miraculous healing at the temple gate, but it was a lame man, not a blind man. In Acts chapter 3, verses 1 to 10, they encounter a man who was lame from birth, begging at the temple gate called Beautiful. Peter, by invoking the name of Jesus Christ, healed the man, allowing him to walk and leap with joy, attracting much attention and leading to Peter's speech about Jesus' resurrection. Question 4. David's friend was Jonathan. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. Jonathan, the son of King Saul, was a close friend of David. Their friendship is well documented in the Bible, notably in 1 Samuel chapters 18 to 20. They made a covenant with each other, demonstrating deep loyalty and love, even though Jonathan's father, Saul, saw David as a threat to his throne. Their relationship is often seen as an example of strong friendship and fidelity. Question 5. The head of Peter was ordered on a platter. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. 
The Bible does not record an event where the head of Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, was ordered on a platter. This event is actually associated with John the Baptist, who was beheaded at the request of Salome, Herodias' daughter. The story, found in Matthew chapter 14, verses 1 to 11, describes how Herod Antipas had John the Baptist beheaded after Salome's request, with his head presented on a platter during a banquet. Adored mate, subscribe today and become part of our community. May God bless you. Question 6. Peter, James, and John witness the transfiguration of Jesus. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. The transfiguration of Jesus is a significant event in the New Testament where Jesus reveals his divine glory to three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John. This event is recorded in Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 to 9. Jesus led these disciples up a high mountain where his appearance was transformed, and he was seen conversing with Moses and Elijah. The transfiguration provided the disciples with a glimpse of Jesus' divine nature. Question 7. The Messiah came from the tribe of Levi. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. The Messiah, as prophesied in the Old Testament and revealed in the New Testament, came from the tribe of Judah, not Levi. Jesus, recognized as the Messiah, is described as a descendant of King David, who was from the tribe of Judah. This lineage is highlighted in prophecies such as Genesis chapter 49 verse 10 and is confirmed in genealogies like Matthew chapter 1 and Luke chapter 3. Question 8. Moses brought forth water from a rock two times. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. The first time occurred in Exodus chapter 17 verses 1 to 7, where Moses, following God's instruction, struck the rock at Horeb, and water came forth for the thirsty Israelites. The second time, where Moses, frustrated with the people's complaints, struck the rock instead of speaking to it as instructed, leading to consequences from God. Despite his disobedience in the second incident, water was still provided for the Israelites. Numbers chapter 20 verses 1 to 13. Question 9. There was a palm leaf on the top of the Ark of the Covenant. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. The Ark of the Covenant, as described in the Old Testament, did not have a palm leaf on top. The top of the Ark, called the Mercy Seat, featured two cherubim made of hammered gold with wings outstretched, facing each other, as described in Exodus chapter 25, verses 17 to 22. The cherubim symbolized the presence of God, and the Mercy Seat was where God would meet with Moses. Question 10. Bathsheba was working when David saw her on the roof. True or false? You get 10 seconds.
the answer is false. Bathsheba was not working but bathing when David saw her on the roof. The story is recorded in 2 Samuel chapter 11, verses 2-4, to where King David, from his palace roof, saw Bathsheba bathing. He was attracted to her and later committed adultery, leading to significant consequences for David, Bathsheba, and their families. Question 11. Jesus was baptized in the Jordan. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. Jesus was indeed baptized in the Jordan River. This significant event in Jesus' life is recorded in the Gospels, notably Matthew, Mark, and Luke chapter 3, verses 21 to 22. John the Baptist performed the baptism, marking the beginning of Jesus' public ministry and symbolizing his commitment to God's plan. During the baptism, the Holy Spirit descended upon Jesus in the form of a dove, and a voice from heaven proclaimed him as God's beloved son. Question 12. Jacob was the firstborn child of Isaac. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Jacob was not the firstborn child of Isaac. That title belonged to his twin brother Esau. According to the biblical account in Genesis chapter 25, verses 24 to 26, Esau was born first with Jacob following, grabbing Esau's heel. This led to Jacob's name, which can mean he who grasps the heel or supplanter. Although he was not the firstborn, Jacob eventually received the birthright and blessing through various events and deceptions. Question 13. Jacob and Esau buried Abraham. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Jacob and Esau did not bury Abraham. They buried their father, Isaac. Abraham was buried by his sons, Isaac and Ishmael. This event is described in Genesis chapter 25, verse 9, where Isaac and Ishmael buried Abraham in the cave of Machpelah. However, when Isaac died, his sons Jacob and Esau came together to bury him, as recorded in Genesis chapter 35, verse 29. Question 14. Paul was shipwrecked on Malta. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. This event is detailed in Acts chapter 27 and Acts chapter 28. Paul was traveling to Rome as a prisoner, and during the journey, the ship encountered a violent storm and ultimately ran aground on the island of Malta. The incident provided Paul with the opportunity to perform miracles and preach the gospel to the people on the island. Question 15. In the parable of the sour, the seed represented the Pharisees. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. In the parable of the sour, the seed does not represent the Pharisees. Instead, the seed represents the word of God or the message of the kingdom. This parable, found in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, chapter 8, verses 4 to 8, 
describes a sower who scatters seeds on different types of ground. The types of ground symbolize the different responses people have to the Word of God, with some producing fruit and others not. The Pharisees are not specifically mentioned in this parable. Question 16. Deborah was the only female judge in Israel. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. Deborah was indeed the only female judge in Israel. She served as a prophetess and judge during a time of oppression by the Canaanites, leading Israel to victory with the help of Barak. The account of her leadership and victory over the Canaanites, particularly against the commander Sisera, is detailed in Judges, chapter 4 and Judges, chapter 5. Deborah is a significant figure in the history of Israel, known for her wisdom and leadership. Question 17. Noah lived 1050 years. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Noah did not live for 1050 years. According to Genesis chapter 9, verse 29, Noah lived for 950 years. His long lifespan is consistent with the extended lifespans of many biblical figures in the pre-flood era. Question 18. 40 people died when a tower of Siloam fell. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. In the New Testament, Jesus mentions an incident where a tower in Siloam fell, but the number of casualties is given as 18, not 40. This is mentioned in Luke chapter 13, verse 4. Jesus uses this event to illustrate that those who died were not necessarily more sinful than others and to emphasize the need for repentance. Question 19. Rachel and Leah were Jacob's wives. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. The story of Jacob, Rachel, and Leah is found in the book of Genesis, primarily in chapters 29 and 30. Jacob first married Leah after being deceived by her father, Laban. He then married Rachel, whom he originally intended to marry, after working an additional seven years for Laban. Rachel and Leah played a significant role in the lineage of the twelve tribes of Israel, as they were the mothers of Jacob's children. Question 20. The locust killed the plant that God provided Jonah for shade. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. The plant that God provided Jonah for shade was killed by a worm, not locusts. In Jonah chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, God caused a leafy plant, often identified as a castor bean plant, to grow and provide shade for Jonah while he sat outside Nineveh, awaiting its possible destruction. However, the next day, God sent a worm to chew the plant, causing it to wither leading Jonah to lament the loss of his shade. This incident was part of God's lesson to Jonah about compassion and his concern for the people of Nineveh. 
Question 21. Paul received 39 lashes from the Jews five times. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. This is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24, where Paul lists the various sufferings and persecutions he endured for the sake of the gospel. The 39 lashes, often referred to as 40 lashes minus one, was a punishment according to Jewish law, which limited the number of lashes to prevent excessive cruelty. Paul experienced this punishment multiple times during his missionary journeys and ministry. Question 22. Peter's shadow healed the sick. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. In Acts chapter 5, verses 15 to 16, it is mentioned that people brought their sick into the streets and laid them on beds and mats so that Peter's shadow might fall on them as he passed by. This resulted in many people being healed. This extraordinary event demonstrates the significant role of the apostles in the early church and the powerful influence of the Holy Spirit. Question 23. The Ethiopian eunuch was baptized by John. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. The Ethiopian eunuch was not baptized by John the Baptist. He was baptized by Philip, one of the early deacons and evangelists. In Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 39, where Philip was directed by an angel to meet the Ethiopian eunuch on the road to Gaza. After discussing the scriptures, particularly the book of Isaiah, the eunuch asked to be baptized and Philip performed the baptism. This incident marked the spread of the Christian message beyond the Jewish community to other nations. Question 24. Moses was hidden for three months before his mother let him float down the Nile. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. Moses, as a baby, was indeed hidden for three months before his mother, Jochebed, placed him in a basket to float down the Nile River, because Pharaoh had decreed that all Hebrew male infants should be killed. Moses' mother hid him to protect him. After three months, she placed him in a basket among the reeds by the riverbank, trusting in God's protection, leading to his rescue by Pharaoh's daughter. Exodus chapter 2 Verses 1 to 3. Question 25. Jethro was the successor of Moses. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Jethro was not the successor of Moses. He was Moses' father-in-law and a priest of Midian. Jethro, as a supportive father-in-law, provided Moses with advice on governing the Israelites, as described in Exodus chapter 18. The successor of Moses was Joshua. Joshua was chosen by God to lead the Israelites into the Promised Land after Moses' death, which is recorded in Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 9, is key to the continued journey of the Israelites into Canaan. Friendly reminder, 
Become a channel member now and gain access to special benefits like personalized shout outs in our videos, member exclusive live streams, and downloadable study guides for each puzzle. Wow, what a remarkable journey through the pages of scripture. Did you enjoy exploring the world of true or false and discovering the hidden truths within? Whether you find yourself solving mysteries or gaining new insights, remember that the Bible is a treasure trove of wisdom and inspiration, always ready for exploration. If this journey excited you, why not share the joy with friends and family? Let's spread the word and invite others to join our fascinating biblical quest. To stay connected and never miss an adventure, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We can't wait to share more captivating quizzes, inspiring discussions, and spiritual insights with you. Your feedback is incredibly valuable, so please share your scores, thoughts, or suggestions in the comments section below. Together, let's keep exploring the wonders of God's Word and deepen our understanding of its timeless messages. Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating expedition. May your journey through the scriptures be filled with profound revelations, growth, and a deeper connection with the divine. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.